Good morning. Um, like I said, it's going to be kind of stranger. I decided that it gets very, very old to have you guys see my feet at the start of every video. So I'm going to kind of hunker down to say good morning to tell you that I will start doing more of the yoga, more of the stretching that all of you have requested. I usually avoid that because when I get stressed or upset or angry, my first thought is I need to escape. I am not going to escape my feelings. Angie, my dear friend, a few years ago, just observed the fact that I don't like to sit in quiet or peace, especially when I'm nervous. So I will get for those feelings. Um, you might see emotions come in or whatever. It is hard for me. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Remember, do what makes you feel good. I am just your guide. Uh, I will cue you, but listen to your own body, right? Uh, most importantly is breath. Take the time to breathe. Take the time to sit up nice and tall. Allow your lungs to function. So grabbing the chair. Let's start by sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, lower them down. As we're bringing our arms up, shoulder height is not important. What's important is that we think about taking our ribs and getting narrow and then expanding. Be large in your presence. And back down. Again, be large. Inhale. Exhale. Shrink those lines down. Inhale. Add power. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm doing kind of an in-between Angie and Maya. I'm thinking power, not grace and charm. And exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Let's bring one arm forward and one arm back. Check your posture. Make sure as you're reaching backwards and forwards. Let's get this with no motion at all. Let's be solid. Shoulders away from ears, and inhale and go the other direction. So we want our shoulder blades together. We want the strength in our core. Often with yoga in a yoga studio, they work on core practice, on focus. You don't have to do the up and down from the ground. You just have to use intention. So as I'm moving my arms, I'm actually taking more time for my lower stomach muscles to stabilize me. And remember to breathe in, out, in, out, in, out. What's your chin doing? Let's get those selfie uh, double, triple chins going. You know those selfies, so kids have those cute ones. And everybody older than 25, we have those triple chins. Let's go two more this way. I forgot my count. Bringing your arms down, inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Hold it there and exhale. As we've got our arms here, or like I said, whatever's convenient for you and comfortable. No matter what though, we're pulling our shoulder blades down away from our, our shoulders away from our See them sitting up there? Ugh. Down and then pinch our shoulder blades together. Belly button into spine. Let's hold our fingertips as strong as far as we can. I'm going to exactly rotate. I'm not going to move my arms at all. So you see where my arms are. I don't have the range of motion. So they're out here. I'm not forcing myself back because when I force it back, I'm going to lose the curve in my spine. I just want the natural curve. I don't want the over arch. Okay, keeping our hands here, let's make this open and close, open and close, open and close, open and close. So belly buttons in the spine, parts that should not be on that chair. Lift it up, lift up your elevator. And we'll move on in four, three, two, one. What a workout.
<laughs> Bring your arms down. Inhale, lift up one arm and exhale. We're going to do a side twist, excuse me, a side bend, allowing for an openness of the ribs. Belly button in the spine, reset so your shoulder and your ear are away from each other. Pull your shoulder blade back and then allow your chest to go straight forward. No twisting of the spine. Just a nice side bend. I want to take the arm that's lowest and I am going to add some power to it by bringing my fingertips down. I'm a little graceful on the upper arm because I can't uh, go any higher. I'm going to be gentle on the shoulder. You can look up at that upper hand, or you can look down, or you can look at me. I'm going to choose to look at you today. My legs at all times though, my knees are cinched together. My ankle bones are trying to cinch together. Inhale, lift up your arm. Exhale, lower the other one. So we're resetting belly button and the spine. Sit up nice and tall, away from the back of your chair. Lift your elevator up, shoulder away from your ears, and then pinch your shoulder blades together. Let's keep our chest straight at each other and up and over. Your armpit first comes up. Beautiful. Now I'm taking my lower arm and I'm going to add some power. So my fingertips are trying to drive into the ground. My upper arm is just staying graceful. Slightly getting a little numb, but we're going to hold that. We're going to feel the sensations. Discomfort isn't going to last for a long time. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, cactus your arms back. For me, it's like I'm being robbed. And then I am going up and over, up and over, a giant beach ball. Somebody's graciously left me. Chest is going up to the sky. I am going to lift my head just a little, chin up like I'm sunbathing. Belly button into, into the spine though. My parts are elevated. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower, bring your hands to your palm center. Lower them onto the thigh. And let's go. Do our push-ups. Elbows are into the side bodies. Bring your body down, hinging at your hips. Use your arm muscles to lift you up. One, belly buttons working hard. Two, as you come down, watch your neck. Look down at the ground. And three, inhale, lift your arms up. Sit up nice and tall and exhale. Inhale, bring one arm up and let's side bend to the, the side. Inhale, exhale, drop that other arm down. Inhale, lift up, exhale, cactus your arms and go back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to touching each other and then down to your thighs. Let's do three push-ups again. You could do more. I like to go slowly because then I really focus on my form. I focus on, I have one arm that likes to work harder than the other. So I think this should be a nice controlled environment that arms should be doing, that the weaker arm should be doing more. Beautiful. Let's bring our legs out wide to the side now. Setting up nice and tall. I wanna do what's called a starfish, like this. And then we are gonna drop down to come toward the ground to stretch out our spine. I, my mama raised me better, so I'm gonna turn a little. Don't turn. I just don't need you to see my parts hanging out. So inhale, lift your arms up, and exhale and hold it there. Again, let's bring some wide fingers. Normally, especially lately, we're all curled in a ball, we're stressed, we're nervous, or we're texting uh, feverishly, or we're on a keyboard. So widen your fingers, broaden your whole body, give a big reach. Take your legs now, get your feet and your knees going the right way. Focus this time on stretching them that way. 
inhale, and exhale. Whew. Inhale, broader, and an exhale. Bring your hands to your thighs. Let's start by this time, belly button and spine, no movement in your back, but we're gonna add a hinge. Let's drop a shoulder down, getting a mild, gentle twist. Back up, drop the other shoulder. And back up. Last time, one way. Back up, other way. Back up. Let's repeat our starfish and then we're gonna add a little bit different stuff to the twist. Inhale, make your big old starfish. Holding right there and just breathing regularly now. See our hands are kind of straight out beside us or in front of us. Broad and broad and broad and reach behind. Try to get now the backs of your hands to touch each other. Let's get some pride, some excitement. Let's open our hearts for some love and some fresh air. Broaden your chest up to the sky, belly button in the spine. Allow a natural arch in your spine. Protect your belly, your back though, by tightening your stomach and lift those elevator parts up. Inhale and exhale. This time, let's open our legs wide. Use our arms to help push our legs back Hinging, hinging, hinging. I'm coming sideways, remember, don't move it. I'm using my arms into my thighs. My thighs are also pushing in my arms to make my spine longer. I have a tendency to collapse like this. I'm gonna push, 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 and open wide. Holding here, holding and breathing. Shoulders away from ears. Resist the motion for coming forward. Shoulder blades, pinch, 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 pinch. And then let's relax into a curve. Allow your hands to slide down. Watch your blood pressure when you go up and down though. Do what you can. You can get your arms here. We're gonna do straight plane first and then the next time we're gonna do some twists. Using your hands up onto your thighs, belly button into spine. Lift yourself up. Inhale, starfish. Big, big, big and breathe. Nice, come down. Allow the slide down again. Now place one hand on the ground, one hand on your thigh, one forearm. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna stay up here. I want my spine to stay straight, straight, no doing this. This is a perfect shirt to see, so you guys can see today. And I'm gonna add a twist. My goal is to get my chest upward, to get my shoulders in line, opening, 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 and then the, the thigh, the inner thigh where my arm is pushing back and it's working is getting stretched as well. I could look up, does it feel good for me? Not particularly. So I'm gonna put my arm down. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna put my arm down. You can reach behind you. Maybe I reach. Belly button into spine though. I should feel a little bit of work in my stomach. Nothing pinching in my back. Inhale, come on up. Starfish. Exhale, bring your arms down. We're doing the opposite arm now. This is why I wanted to go the other way first, so you don't see my back, see my rudeness to you. Um, I'm sorry, my back's getting turned. So belly button into spine. Remember, you could come down further. You could reach the ground. I'm most comfortable here. My upper arm's gonna come up. I'm trying to rotate my chest up to the sky. Belly button supporting me, strengthening my stomach muscles, stretching my stomach muscles, using my arm on my thigh, my thigh and the arm to help pull and engage my shoulder blades together. Like I said, I can keep my arm here. I'm gonna wrap it. Then I'm gonna try to just breathe and absorb my chest up to the sky.
Nice. Let's come on back to the center. I'm gonna bring my legs this way. And let's curl into the ball and then straighten. I feel like that was a pretty tough uh, twist and a little bit more extra spine. So let's set up though nice and tall first, belly button into spine, hearts lifted. Let's get our chin down to our chest and think of yourself as rolling into a ball like a roly poly, roly poly only. You know what I'm talking about? Forehead down to thighs, that's the goal. Belly button curving, 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 curving. Staying where you are, if you can bring your hands towards your heels and underneath your heels to help pull you into more of a ball that'll help maybe stretch out the small of your back if you're stiff. My dearest friend, Jen, if you can do this, this would be great for you. Um, if your knees, if you're too squishy feeling because your knees are together, pull your legs out. Actually, I'm going to pull my legs out wide. Grabbing underneath, remember you do what you can. Grab under your thighs if that's where you're comfortable today. And hold this position. It's not a comfortable position. What we're going to do though is we're going to practice breathing in this position. Let's breathe for about five breaths, and then I'll pull you back up. Allow the weight of your head to just drop. Bring your arms now up onto your thighs. Inhale and slowly, slowly, slowly roll on up. Head and neck is the last to come up. Sit up nice and tall. Allow your blood pressure to kind of regroup. And just breathe with me. I'm noticing how crooked I look. That's the most silly thing, huh? You ever sit, think about yourself in a chair and you're like off to one side? I'm sorry. I'm sorry it is not your TV. It is not my camera sitting on the ground. It is I. So I'm going to sit. I'm starting to feel a little bit calmer. I'm starting to realize that <laughs> my friends are very wise. Actually, I know that. I just don't like to listen to all of you at some times. Anyhow, sitting up nice and tall. Where does our body want to go now? I think we're going to do a little bit of twi uh, of legs. Yes? Let's bring one leg. I'm going to turn so you can see. Pull one foot up, belly button into spine. Lift those elevator parts up. Shoulders should be relaxed. You're not doing anything to stress you out. Let's use the, the strength, if we can, of just our leg muscles and lift up and point and flex, point and flex. As we point, we're kind of t we're loosening the fronts of our shins. As we tighten, we're filling that hole around the back if we keep our posture good. Go at your own pace. Remember just to breathe. If you get tired of going forward and back around ankle circles, Oddly, ankle circles have never, ever felt good with me as a kid. Now let's hold for four, three, two, one. Lower that leg down intentionally. Now reset yourself. Flex your foot towards your head of the other leg. Belly button to the spine, shoulders down, parts lifted. Let's nice and calmly lift that other leg up. Now you can see, this one has always been tighter to me. That's why I like to put the toe up because then it really stretches the back of the calf muscles, especially my ladies who usually like their high heels. It also stretches the sciatic nerve, the one that we feel from our behind now. So sitting up nice and tall, point and flex, point and flex. The goal that I will always have for myself will be to have my knees straight and be able to do this. 
while not compromising our spine. Point and flex, point and flex. How are your shoulders? I'm starting to get achy, so I'm glad I'm doing this today. I think this would have been one of those days. I can see my friend Roberta. I wish um, I got to meet her in person. That's my goal. Uh, of her telling me all day as I go about, put your shoulders back. So Roberta, I'm honoring you by uh, <laughs> feeling the stretch, the uncomfortable stretch in the front of my shoulder, knowing it's better for me in the long run. Okay, we've done five billion of those. Bring your leg back down. Let's get some, some neck motion. Chin down to chest, sitting up nice and tall. Let's hold here, just breathe. Feel the stress in the back of our, our heads. Allow the motion. Over-exaggerate if you're able to. The chin down to chest. We're tightening up the neck bones, the front of your neck bone. We have a floating bone there that attaches your tongue muscles into it. And let's just breathe. We want a little bit of uncomfortable so that we really work the lung muscles. Remember, think of your inside like a balloon. Push out your balloon and exhale, squeeze it back in. Three more breaths, your own. Watch your posture though. Last breath. Slowly roll yourself up. And again, we're gonna just breathe. I think that's the secret of how this one is going, isn't it? Breathe, calm, don't start the day off. If you're like me, my phone is right next to my alarm. Yes, I still use an alarm clock. But as soon as I get up, I see the screen messages and then I turn on the TV and I see the news. My cortisol levels, my stress levels are already up before I even get out of bed. This is a perfect way to change that. Sit up nice and tall, bring your chin back so that we have those beautiful, gorgeous, triple chins. And now over accentuate. Keep your shoulders down, but feel like you're stretching your head straight up and then come over. Ear down towards shoulder, not shoulder up to ear. I'm gonna stay in this posture just to feel a little bit of stretch up here. Adding on though, I want that other arm straight down so that I'm not creeping it up. Keeping my ear as close to my shoulder as I can, I'm changing my gaze to go down at an angle toward the floor, readjusting my posture. You'll feel it more in the, the back of your neck stretch, down your shoulder blades, it's funny how just doing one motion affects all the other body parts, isn't it? We're gonna breathe. I think that's what the song's saying. We're gonna breathe too. Tell me what the song really says. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath, bringing my hand up and then I'm putting my head back to straight, resetting everything, lifting my elevator parts because somehow just sitting, I forgot to do that. Shoulders away from ears. Let's bring the other ear down toward that shoulder and not the shoulder up to the ear. That's where I feel the tightness, front of my shoulder. So I'm taking that arm, I'm gonna just feel it. It's not hurting me. It just makes me want to go into poor posture, but I'm not gonna let it. I'm taking that hand though, and I'm gonna exaggerate the stretch by getting my fingertips trying to feel the ground and breathe. So this one you're feeling more on the side of your neck, possibly like I'm feeling it into my shoulder. It's a neck muscle that's tight. 
Now keeping my ear down toward my shoulder, I'm gonna shift my gaze, rotate down so I'm at a different angle to feel more the back of my neck muscles. I'm still trying to push my hand that's down to the ground, down, down, down. Elevator's lifted. And I wanna hold it for a few breaths. Really expand your rib cage and then shrink it in. Good, let's come back to center after your next breath. Bring, I'm bringing my hands to my thighs and then coming back. How are you feeling? I am feeling so much happier that I didn't avoid my feelings this morning. I'm feeling happier that I'm just getting some breath in the start of my day. I'm gonna keep my hands here and I'm gonna, um, I'm sliding away from yoga because what I wanna do is I feel like I need to shift so we're gonna keep everything nice and elongated, pretending that we sat here, we look like we're eight feet tall, belly buttons and spine, parts are lifted off the chair that shouldn't be there. And let's slide our upper body out to the side, to the middle, to the other side, to the middle. Nice and gentle though. I'm feeling like I'm not unwinding, I don't wanna to put too much effort for. I just want to feel like a freshness. I hope you're feeling more invigorated, more fresh, more level-headed. And one more in both directions. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. Exhale, lower them back down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to palm center, keeping nice and tall. We're not signing off yet, a few seconds left. Belly button into spine. I want to turn my body now with the help of my stomach muscles with good posture. My goal would be to spin my whole chest around using my eye muscles holding there. And I wanna breathe at an angle Again, rotating so a different part of my lungs has to work and the other part gets open. Watch your posture. This only helps if your shoulders are maintained away from your ears and pushing backwards. Nice. Let's come back to center in two more breaths. Coming back to center, regroup, recorrect your posture. Then I'm, let's go the opposite way. So sit up nice and tall, belly button the spine. Again, it, um, the goal would be to spin your chest up and over your chair. My real goal though is to make parts of my lungs work and stretch out the other and let some air get into the other parts of the lungs that don't often work. So this should start us calming down because then we're going to take a few breaths together and sign off. Last time, breathe and come back to center. Let's bring our hands down, join for some final breaths. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring them down. Last time, inhale. Exhale, let your palms touch each other and then come on down. Sitting up nice and tall, proud. Let's push our pressure of our palms together. Shoulder blades push down and back away from the fronts. Backs of thumbs into chest bone, chest bone into thumbs. Remember, belly button to spine. Let's really work on squeezing our knees together, our ankle bones together. Bring your chin back so your ears are resting. This is not an easy pose. They call this an easy seated pose, but it's not. It is work. Let's hold here. I wanna take a moment of quiet 
so you can center yourself for the day or the night if you're getting ready to go to bed. You can keep your eyes closed. I'm going to softly open mine so I could look you in the eyes, but remember, you don't have to look me back. I do want to thank you. I want to thank you for watching me grow, allowing me to grow, feeling like you're my community, uh, my family. Thank you very much for my time with you. With my open heart to yours, namaste.